Hi, I'm an Australian guy living here in Belarus and many men, many foreign men who visit this part of the world who are probably Western, many men come here and complain about the number of girls who are trying to scam them on some level. First of all, Belarus does not have a hell of a lot of girls like this and they do happen to be concentrated more in Minsk and they do happen to have a certain look and feel about them. If you actually pay attention to the girls that behave this way, then you'll work out pretty quickly just by looking at them if they're this kind of girl. So what do I mean by scammer girl? A scammer girl is a girl who wants to go on a date with you but doesn't actually have any interest in you, right? So she's not open to romance with you. In her mind, it's not a date. In her mind, it's some kind of transaction where you provide food or entertainment or drinks or whatever, and she provides herself, looking good, bubbly personality, and that's the trade-off in her mind. Of course, she doesn't tell you this. She doesn't tell you that's a trade-off. She acts as if it is a date, but indeed, it is not. So there are a few telltale signs about this kind of girl. Firstly, she's probably going to be really smooth, yeah, almost too smooth, too smooth, yeah. So her English will probably be really good, not necessarily, but probably, and her social skills will be outstanding. But when you have a conversation with this kind of girl, she's always on the surface, yeah, because this kind of girl is inherently narcissistic, right? She is 100% narcissist. So she's really good at asking, how was your day? How's your job? How's something? But unlike a normal conversation where you dig, 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 dig to the heart of the topic, she will just float around on the surface like this. And it feels like a very superficial interaction. One massive telltale sign, I hear this from so many guys, is if you barely know her, or you haven't been on a date with her, you barely know her, you might have met her in a bar, had a five minute conversation, maybe she's from that swamp called Tinder, and she says, hey, you know what, uh, I'm on my way and I'm ready, but uh, it's a long way. Could you be a gentleman, please, and be really nice of you if you could send me a taxi? Now, there will be one in a million situations where this is actually okay, but the probability of that is literally one in a million. Chances are she's looking to milk you for everything you have, and she's starting with a taxi and she's get, just testing you. Can she get a bit of compliance from you there? And then slowly the requests increase. But from my experience, especially, no reasonable girl does this. Yeah, no reasonable girl does this. Most people like me just catch a freaking train or catch the bus or sometimes catch a taxi if it's raining or it's cold or whatever. This is how normal people are. Another telltale sign is if she comes out and meets you barely knowing you and having barely ever spoken to you. So maybe you matched on Tinder. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Three minutes, hey, let's meet up. She's like, cool, right? And she agrees to it straight away. Now, usually this means that she's meeting you ahead of maybe a thousand other guys, right? Literally sometimes. And she barely knows you. And she's gonna come and meet you in person, right? It means that She's not meeting you for you because she doesn't know you. She hasn't screened you at all. And of course, if it's not really obvious, you haven't screened her either. So there's a good chance you don't care too much about her as well. And you're only thinking about uh, banging her uh, as well. So you're kind of like, if you're in this situation where you're meeting girls that uh, you don't have much of a connection with or don't know very well, and they don't know you very well, and you're meeting them a lot, and you think you're getting quote unquote scammed, guess what? You're kind of a scammer as well. And the final way that you can tell that she's a scammer girl, and I notice guys here that talk about this a lot, because a lot of this is just me listening and watching other guys' conversations, uh, are girls that insist on having dinner for the first date. So the guy might suggest, hey, let's grab a quick coffee, which I think is a reasonable first date, it's a one hour coffee, because you have the option then, right? If you're having a coffee and it seems like, well, you've been catfished, for example, or you catfished her, or maybe both, probably both. You've got this situation, you can just get out. You're gone, finish the coffee, 20 minutes, dust for done, you. Maybe you guys just aren't feeling each other for whatever reason it is. It's a quick and easy out, you know? And if you get along really, really well, and you're really kind of vibing well, we can upgrade, right? You can say, okay, we had a coffee, actually, let's get some cake, or let's get something to eat, or let's go for a walk, or whatever it is. You can kind of extend that date if you want to. So I think a coffee is a perfect first date, because again, it de-risks the date for both of you.
And of course, why as a man would you want to invest all of this time and money, a whole evening and uh, paying for a restaurant and some other activities, when you barely know the girl? And again, this is all about first dates. This is a first date. If it's not the first date, it's different. But on a first date, if she's uh, insisting on dinner or something kind of expensive, expensive in terms of your time and your resources, and you barely know her, you can be guaranteed that she is a scammer girl. Hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your feedback on this. Any ideas and thoughts that you have on this topic would be very interesting both to myself and to other viewers. So do share your thoughts below in the comments section. I hope you can hear me here. This is a competition. It's a fireworks competition. I didn't realize what I was going through. Um, so that was the first team. And now they're talking up here. A bit right up there, but this is the, the team who they're just talking now about their show that they just put on. Вы готовы? Да! Плохо, ребята, плохо, плохо. Еще раз. Все готовы? Да! Тогда также громко даем обратный отсчет. Внимание, все вместе. Десять. Девять. Восемь.
fire's broken out here. You see someone's over there cleaning it up. As I say, there's fragments of fireworks kind of dropping everywhere on us. Um, and yeah, a little bit of a spot fire over there, but you can see the dudes over there. They're literally stepping on the fire to put it out. <laughs> Two dudes over there. Slowly getting it done. Oh, there's a fire brigade. Fire brigade is on the job. You can almost see there. Uh, part of the fun. Right, so there are around 15,000 people here, I'm not joking, and there's not a single piece of rubbish, but actually I just found one, I think you can't quite see it on the ground there, one piece of rubbish on the ground, it's 11pm, there's 15,000 party goers, one piece of rubbish on the ground, oh I love you Belarus.